What is going on guys? Welcome to the Jeff Man. I'm your host, Jeff. Today, I'm going to be talking about how AMD plans to fix Ryzen 3000 with ABBA. No, not that ABBA, but this ABBA. The Agisa ABBA update, which is basically an update for your chipset drivers for your processors. This is going to allow you to finally get that rated boost clock depending on what chip you have whether it's the 36 37 38 or 3900x everybody's been complaining about them being skimped out out of 25 to 50 megahertz and some people complaining that their 3900x's never boosted past 4.3 on any core so many feelings of discontentment has been going around the amd community regards to this particular factor if you haven't tested this for yourself get some simple software like cpu hardware monitor and you'll be able to see the boost behavior of your individual cores for me they hover around 4.3 and on older bioses they hover around 4.4 and intel has been jumping in on this and been poking fun at AMD saying that they never did it because of their reliability issues and trying to tout AMD to be an unreliable chipset, chip, processor, family, SKU, whatever you wanna call it. And because of this, AMD has been under some pressure. Now, Der Bauer, which is one of the biggest overclockers and I think I've mentioned him in the channel before, he has done some surveys and found of like a big segment, I don't know, hundreds or thousands of people that he's asked about their Ryzen chips, very few single digit percentage of this survey revealed that they were actually attaining the advertised boost clocks. This is somewhat concerning for such a mass produced item by a big ass company like AMD not to be giving what they advertise. Now, the issue here is that a lot of people may cry about this, but the word important here is max. Now, if you don't get the max, but you get something quite close to the max, shouldn't really be anything to complain about. So I'm gonna show you this website. I'm gonna link it down below, credits to them. This is not my own testing. I'm too small to be able to do testing on that scale. But before I show you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a like and talk to me in the comments. All very important for me to carry on making content. Now, if we look at these figures, in white is the baseline of what you should be getting. The middle bars are the ABB updates, what people were getting on average and what this test site was getting on average as their median. And now with the ABBA update, we can see all the processors in the testing lineup are reaching their advertised boost clocks and the 3900X surprisingly surpassing its max rated boost clock, which is all great news. AMD is pushed out this ABBA... Blah, blah, blah. AMD has pushed out this ABBB AMD has pushed out this ABBA update to all the manaboard manaboard motherboard manufacturers and with this new chipset update the motherboard manufacturers are now busy tinkering away to make it compatible with each of their given motherboards some people are already testing beta bioses with great luck some people are going to have to wait people like me on a SUS X470 although great ASUS doesn't seem to be pushing the most up-to-date BIOSes for X470 users, although some models have support, some models don't. The thing is, we'll all get the update. It's just a matter of when. Hopefully, it will all be before September 30th because I've read somewhere, apparently, all these updates should be out by then before the 3950X comes out, which is going to be quite expensive, $750, but probably going to trash something like a $3,000 Intel CPU. So that's all gonna be exciting. AMD are taking the criticisms from users, from reviewers, from the market that they are trying to serve. They've taken it on their chin and they're gonna be issuing a fix and the motherboard vendors will also be passing that fix onto us very soon. So with all this said, subscribe as ever, helps me, goes a long way. But how's your Ryzen processor been behaving? Are you getting anywhere close to the rated boost clocks? And have you found inconsistency with each and every BIOS update? Because I surely have. Talk to me in the comments below and I'll be posting an update in comparison to my previous Ryzen performance test, which I've linked up here. So have a look at that. And hopefully in the next coming weeks, I'll have another video comparing the gains and was it a beneficial BIOS update? And have they really fixed all the bugs? Because I have a catalog of bugs that I've been working around 
shouldn't still put you off. You're getting something at a different value point. And at that value point, you kind of have to put up with it. And with these newer processors like the 3900X, as long as you kind of leave it alone, they will dominate and crush Intel in everything other than gaming FPS. Which matters, but doesn't matter that much when you're getting 100 FPS plus. I don't care about 5 FPS. So, until the next one guys, have a good day and I will catch you on the next one.